For dinner tonight, we have chicken and vegetable kebabs. I actually cooked them in the oven for about 20 minutes and it worked out pretty well. And I'm serving that with an herbed couscous. So I just wanna share with you, um, I was able to make five total kebabs and that was using one chicken breast, one zucchini, one small red onion, about three quarters of an orange pepper, um, handful of mushrooms, handful of baby tomatoes, and I only used one cup of couscous um, with about three quarters cup of water, or maybe it was reverse that. But anyhow, uh, I was able to have two different lunches for myself. Well, they're the exact same thing, but two different days that I can eat on this um, because I had two kebabs for dinner and then I put one and a half kebab in each of these as a lunch portion with the remaining couscous. So I just want to share this tip with you that um, making a dinner like this will really save you money on meat because I was able to stretch one entire chicken breast over three meals for myself. So um, it's also a great way to eat a little bit more vegetables um, and a large variety of vegetables also. Anyway, I just wanted to share that tip with you. So here I have a two and a half or so pound boneless pork loin roast. Um, I just put this into my crock pot with a, one of the Reynolds liners on there. Um, I picked up this roast from Trader Joe's and all I'm gonna do is add on top of it this slow cooker sauce in Hawaiian luau. I'm just gonna pour this over top of my roast. Sorry, I'm trying to watch through the camera. This is a little bit thicker than I was anticipating. I've never used this product before. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this into here and spread it around. Here's the um, pork after it's cooked for eight hours on low. Um, I've been at work all day, so it's shrunk up pretty substantially, I'd say. I can't wait to dig into this and make some side dishes to go with it. For dinner tonight, we have the pork roast that came out of the slow cooker that was covered in the Hawaiian luau sauce. I have some brown rice and corn with a little bit of lime and cilantro, and then some chili green beans. I just wanted to share with you some of the leftovers that I was able to get out of this meal. Um, this right here will be one lunch for me for tomorrow. It has some of the pork, all the leftover green beans, and the leftover rice and corn is there in the bottom. So that'll be a pretty substantial lunch for me tomorrow. And I was also able to get two portions more of meat that I'm going to use one for tacos and one for, I'm not sure, probably will end up getting frozen. For tonight's dinner, I have a General Tso's chicken stir fry. There's some rice down there, um, a mixture of veggies. There's green beans, zucchini, carrots, bell pepper, just stuff I had laying around, and then some pieces of chicken breast on top with a little bit of chow mein noodles on top. So um, kind of a cleaning out the fridge type of dinner, but I'm excited to eat it. So here are the leftovers I was able to get. There's rice down at the bottom, um, the veggies, and the rest of the chicken at the top there. Okay, so here are the pork tacos that I've made. I just uh, cooked the pork down in a little bit of taco seasoning and water. That's the pork roast I had cooked in the toaster oven, or excuse me, the slow cooker. Um, and I just added a bunch of yummy toppings, um, Mexican cheese, avocado, tomato, lettuce, cilantro, and I have a couple lime wedges.